Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to find the area of a regular polygon. So what we're looking at here is a regular polygon. And we're being told that for this particular polygon, the apothem is four. Now, some of you might be saying, what is this? Well, if you don't know what this means, of course, I'm going to explain this in just one second, but you're going to need to understand what this is. And you'll also, of course, need to understand what a polygon is and a regular polygon. And you'll also need to know a formula. Now, if you forgot the formula, that's understandable. You know, there is a lot of formulas in mathematics and geometry. But uh, if you can remember the formula and actually do this problem, that would be very impressive. Matter of fact, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then we're going to explain all of this. It's not that difficult. And if you're taking, like, let's say, a high school level geometry course, this is stuff that you're uh, absolutely going to need to know. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's just answer a couple quick questions. I'm gonna wait to um, tell you what this is real fast before you show the answer. So what is a polygon in geometry, right? In mathematics, we use this word polygons. What are polygons? Effectively, a polygon is a closed uh, figure, okay, made up of lines. I'm kind of giving you an informal definition here. Our uh, first polygon, a three-sided polygon, is a triangle. Okay, that's a three-sided polygon. And basically, we have lines. There's different types of polygons, concave, convex. But I don't want to get overly technical here. It's things that we can, uh, figures we can construct, shapes we can construct with uh, lines, okay, that connect to one another like so. So here is a triangle. The next one would be like a, a quadrilateral. Um, and then you can have different other uh, shapes, of course, something like this, okay? Now, a regular polygon, okay, a regular polygon is a polygon where all the sides are the same length. So here you can see this is six, so that means this side is six, this is six, six, and then this is six, and then obviously this side is also six right here. So that's what a regular polygon means, and of course you could tell by these little lines, notation indicating all these sides are equal. Okay, so I'll wait to tell you what this means in just one second, but let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. What is the area of this regular polygon? Well, it happens to be 72 units squared. Now, if you put 72 as your answer, I will give you full credit. But remember, anytime you're asked about what is the area of something, the volume, something, surface area, um, you're always going to be mindful of units of measure. Okay, now, although... We don't have any specific units of measure here, like let's say six centimeters, right? If that was the case here, then our uh, answer would be like 72 centimeters squared. But I just want your brain to be thinking, oh, it's units squared, whatever units that might be. Okay, so this is the answer. Now, if you got this right, and if you actually remember the formula and just knew this, well, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face, an A++. 125%, uh, matter of fact, multiple stars. Matter of fact, if you were in my math course, like a geometry course, I would literally just tell you to take the rest of the year off. I'll just send you your grade in the mail. Uh, you'll definitely get your A++. And I said, just take, you know, enjoy yourself. I don't know what you're doing. You might be watching that guy on YouTube. I don't know, but great job, okay? Outstanding. Now, if you were like, yes, I remember this, but I forgot the formula, that's understandable as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this problem now, okay, the solution. All right, so first of all, what we need is a formula, okay? So formula for the, uh, the area of a regular polygon, okay? Not just any polygon, a regular polygon. So we're dealing with a regular polygon. I told you what that is. All the sides are congruent, the same measure. Uh, so this is the formula for the area of a regular polygon. So area is equal to one-half A times P, where A is this thing called the apothem. I'll explain that in a second. And P is the perimeter. So what are we talking about? Well, just the total sum of all the sides. That is the perimeter. So if you're thinking, oh yeah, I know what the perimeter is. Well, then you already know what this is. What we need to uh, figure out is what this means here, this apothem. This is not that difficult. So let's go to explain this, right? Now we have 
uh, the perimeter. I mean, if you can look at, at this side is uh, six, all we have to, and how many sides do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. You can just calculate that out. Of course, the perimeter is going to be 36. So as long as we have this A, we'll be good to go. Now, we do have it, right? So remember, in the uh, problem, I gave it to you. I said it's four. But really, you know, it's important that you understand what this means, okay? I was like, oh, if this is four, I could just do the number crunching right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at what this means. Now, in a more formal course of, uh, of instruction, not in this particular, which I do teach, if you need help with anything geometry, just go straight to my full geometry course. I really give you all the definitions, theorems, postulates, everything you need completely uh, in those, uh, you know, uh, videos that I have, full instruction, problems, solutions, et cetera, et cetera. But effectively, uh, the apothem is this distance here. It's the perpendicular distance from any one of the sides, okay? So this side from here, from the center of this polygon out to a, a, the, a vertice here is the radius, but this distance from the center to the perpendicular um, uh, measure, okay, to any one of the sides, it's called the apothem, okay, so it's not to be confused with the radius, so it's this measure here, so we just go, we just construct a perpendicular line, okay, from any one of the sides that goes to the center, so I'm telling you that it is four, now you could see here, I'm telling you this is three, now how would I know that, well, uh, here, if this is uh, six, the apothem also um, bisects the side. Okay, so in other words, this will be three and this will be three. All right, so again, uh, you know, uh, for a more detailed, uh, complete, full, you know, uh, explanation of all of this, just go to my uh, geometry course, right? My full geometry course. But I don't, you know, for what I'm telling you right now, you should be able to have a pretty good sense. Oh, okay, it's from here to here, and this uh, side uh, splits this side. So I get it. All right, so this is three because we know that this entire side is six. And I told you this is four. So I could just use the Pythagorean theorem to uh, get the radius uh, five. Now, you, it's not necessarily, it's not necessary, excuse me, to have the radius uh, to solve this particular problem. But just so you know that you could get it because you might be asked uh, for it in another problem. Okay, so here again, the perimeter will be 36. All we have to do is just add up all the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll be six times six, which of course is 36. Now we know what the apothem is. So now this is just a simple exercise in number crunching. All right, so here is our formula for the area of a regular uh, uh, polygon. So A is four, P is 36. We'll just plug in the respective values into the formula and uh, we just go ahead and we just do this even without a calculator right so 2 goes into 4 2 so 2 times 36 is 72 again you don't want to just be like oh uh, the area is 72 although your teachers okay should give you full credit there are some teachers that might give you like uh, you know take off minus one or something and i've seen that before I wasn't that strict, okay, as a uh, math teacher. And I've taught for decades. You know, a lot of students come back and they get a little, you know, angry. They were like, I can't believe you took a point off for not putting the units of measure in. Well, if I gave you like centimeters, right, or something like that, and you didn't put in centimeters squared, uh, depending on how I felt, I'm going to definitely point that out to you, okay? Um, however, some teachers will actually take points off. You just need to be very aware. Anytime you're asked about area, surface area, volume, distance, and whatnot, you got to be very, very mindful of those units of measure. All right, so hopefully you found this interesting and helpful. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.